Okay, so we just un unwrapped a mug, and that was relatively straightforward as one object in and of itself. Uh, but now I want to unwrap this wood floor, and instead of unwrapping each individual plank one at a time, because that would take forever, um, I'm going to delete most of the floor, uh, set my UVs, and then reduplicate, because it's going to be a, a whole lot faster. So I've put everything else on their own layers, or roughly, so I can just isolate the wood floor. And I'm going to actually delete the vast majority of this. So I'm going to go to the top view and delete all of those. And I'm going to delete Make sure that these are all the same size. I can't remember if I trimmed that one. Oh, I did. Okay. And I'll delete those. So I'm just left with one full size board. All right. So to UV unwrap this, it's going to be a similar process um, individually. So I'm going to uh, go to my UV editor. Right, I'll, I'll just dock this over to the side of my viewport. And, you know, it's, it still has its default cube um, UV unwrap, and that's kind of garbage. So I'm going to UV, delete UVs, select it, and I'll start with another planar projection. So I'll go up to, let me just minimize some of these. I don't need them right now. Uh, planar, hold down Shift. I'm going to go to the Y axis, so it's a top down projection, hit project. Okay, you can see I got my board. And uh, that's a good starting point. But I need to lay a couple seams because you might see the side of these just a little bit. So I want to lay those out too. Uh, so I'm going to go to edge mode. I'm just going to select these corners, these vertical corners. I guess I'll do one at a time. And I'll hit cut there. And cut there. Go down to the other side. Oops, there we go. Cut those. And cut those. All right, so once I have them all cut, then I can go to my UV shell. It's still all one piece. It's just going to lay a little bit flatter. Um, okay, you can see how it unwraps beforehand. And now when I click uh, Unfold, again, making sure that I have Unfold 3D selected, it's going to lay a little bit flatter. It's a little bit of distortion, but you're never really going to see that. Uh, and you can see in the viewport or in the in the UV editor how it kind of cuts the edges, um, so it lays completely flat. So that is one uh, one floorboard fully unwrapped, and it's a pretty decent size. I could maximize it, but I'm going to have multiple floorboards all in this UV map, um, and I want to make sure that. They've, that there's room for variation. You'll, you'll see later how that's going to work out. Uh, but I do want to make sure that this is perfectly horizontal. So I'm just going to rotate it just a little bit. Hold down control for some really fine tune control. And well, I don't actually know how much this is going to rotate it. Just want it to make sure that it's perfectly flat. Okay. So that is one floorboard unwrapped. Okay, now I don't want to just apply an, a, a wood plank texture to this now, because then as I duplicate this a hundred times across the floor, it's all going to look the same. I definitely don't want that. So now I'm going to duplicate this. And when I initially did my duplications, I did I made it fairly random, so I had six rows before the pattern repeated. Um, so the first thing I need to do 
is duplicate this once and I'm going to move it down. And I'm going to line it up. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap there. Oops. Just a little bit. Go a little bit less than that. Yeah, that'll work. All right, and then now that I have that, I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate. Oh, okay, the duplicate with transform is not going to work. So I will just duplicate it one more time. Move it again, leaving a little bit of a gap. Just something for the light to play with. And then Shift D. Okay, now the duplicate with transform is working. And I believe four is wide enough. Let me turn on my layer. Of course, I'm going the opposite way, but yeah, that that should be good. Um, I do need to get some things out of the way. I've got these in separate files, so I'm just going to delete them uh, so I can see what's going on. All right, so I have my my planks, and I'm going to go into wireframe and uh, the top view, and just move them over. Okay, and it's sticking out on both sides. I'm going to fix the ends uh, here shortly, but I want to make sure. Go back to perspective uh, that it's going to span the whole room. All right, now I need to duplicate a few rows. So I will hit Command D, move it over, and again, leaving a little bit of a gap there. Not too much of one, but that looks. That looks pretty good. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Maybe like I'll exaggerate the gap just for. Okay. I'm gonna duplicate that again. Again, moving it over. Just a super subtle control here. Oops, there we go. That looks pretty good. All right, so I'll do I'll do five boards, uh, and then I'll I'll repeat the pattern. So when I say pattern, you can see how these floorboards are. You know, the seams are all lining up, and that's not particularly natural. So I need to sca uh, stagger them a little bit. So I'm going to select this row, and I'll move them maybe down to there, and I'll select the next row, and I'll move it maybe... There, let me check this end to make sure that I'm not going to come through the wall. Okay. I'll select this end, or this row. Maybe we'll go there. And then this row, maybe we'll go over here. Okay, so I got a nice stagger. And as we, if we keep an eye on the UV editor, you see that each individual board that I select still has the same UVs, which is great. Um, however, these end boards are going to be a little bit different uh, because I need to adjust the length so that they fit in the room. So I'm going to select uh, this one and select the vertices 
And I'm just going to move them in so that it lines up with the edge of the room. Looks pretty good. Same thing here. Oops. Grab it. Move it so it lines up. Do that same thing down the line. So I'll pause it here and then uh, come back once this is done. Got the ends sized to the appropriate width, um, but the UVs are still kind of the same length despite boards being different lengths. So what I need to do now is take those end boards that I resized and just re-unfold uh, them. So I'm going to open up my UV toolkit. I'm going to select this board and hit unfold. And this one and hit unfold. This one and hit unfold and just on down the line. All right, the same thing on this end. Okay, so those are all unfolded nicely. Um, but as I select multiple, you can see that they're all the same width in the viewport, but in the UV editor, they're not the same width. Uh, so I need to adjust the uh, texel density for each one. So I'm going to select my uh, full length board, go up to transform and texel density, click get. Okay, and then I'm going to select all of my end boards on both sides. Oops. And click set. And now all the boards are the same width, which is great. So the last thing that I need to do is I'm going to select all of the boards. All right, and I'm going to duplicate them once. So Command-D. And I'm going to move them along the z-axis and get them uh, positioned. Going to leave a little bit of a gap there. Good. And once I get that one placed, I can uh, duplicate with transform again. So shift D and just do that to fill up the room. Looks like we need one, I guess two more. Okay. So now I've got a full room full of floorboards and each one is um, UV unwrapped. And that did not take that much time at all. So now that I have them um, UV unwrapped, currently they're all in the center of my UV editor. And if that's the case, then they're all going to have the same texture. So I'm going to run in the same problem as if I just, um, you know, kept them all in the same spot. So what I need to do now is I'm going to select all the floorboards. Just grab one from each group, make sure I get all of them. Oh, I missed a couple. There, there, there. Okay, so now I have all the floorboards selected. And we'll just make that the parent. I'm going to go to Mesh Combine. Okay, so then now it's all one mesh. Now I've saved a, multi, a, a separate version of this file, so I can go back if I need to to the old floor. Um, okay, so now this is all of the floorboards, and I know it's a lot. Uh, but what I want to do now is just kind of spread them out and scatter them in the UV space. Because I'm guessing if I hit layout, yeah, it's not going to... Oh, actually that didn't do a terrible job. It's just too small. And I don't want that. I want them to be larger. So I'm going to keep them this size. Um, let's see. What does random my shells do? That is not bad. Okay, I think I'm going to use randomized shells, which seems like it might have been a tool built for this purpose. Uh, I don't want to rotate. I don't want to scale them. I just want to move them around. So I've got roughly four and a half units in each direction. So I'm going to say 
4.5 for my units and in the V direction. Click Apply. Oh, okay, so no, 4.5 was not the correct uh, setting. Let me close that for a second and undo. Hold on, Shift. Oh, I think I undid too far. There we go. Okay. Hold on, Shift, click on Randomize Shells. And instead of 4.5, let's go 0.45. Click Apply. That is perfect. And now I also want to randomize them in the U direction a little bit. Um, and I will go point. Zero five, and there we go. Now it's randomly spread out, uh, fully taking uh, advantage of the texture space. Click close, and so I can. I'll just put a, a giant wood texture across, and each one will look a little bit differently. So that's how I'm uh, unwrapping a, a wood floor. Um, I'll do a similar thing when I do the ceiling um, boards as well. Um, nice way to kind of save some time um, with the unwrapping.